Josh Van Limt, the clock. A man who belonged without any doubt in this illustrious list is Josh Van Limt, the clock. He's from a small village of Brussels. This man has always performed in great style until his dying day. The life of Josh the clock was completely devoted to racing pigeons. The well-being of pigeons was secured first with anything that passed in his home of Van Limt. Because according to Josh's philosophy, no matter in what sport, if you don't give it your all, you will never reach the top. Josh Van Limt the clock was born and raised with pigeon racing. Besides his love for the sport, he also received his nickname, The Clock, from his father. When Van Limp Sr. was spotted during a mild rain shower with a large clock, that's the Belgian expression for hat, his name was born. After Van Limp Sr. passed away in 1943, Josh automatically inherited his father's nickname. Before the Second World War, Van Limp Sr. was already spoken about with much O. In this time, he was one of the first who raced with pigeons of the sort of the Jansen brothers from a nearby town in Ardenach. Josh's father worked at the cigar factory besides Arjun Johnson and was able to get the best of the best his, in his way. Cannibal of Dirk Van Dyke the sympathetic Dirk Van Dyke became world famous thanks to the cannibal with the ring number BE95-624-6005 which became in 1996 the first national race pigeon HFKBDB. Children, grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren have spread all over the world and have grown into phenomenal breeding in racing pigeons. A legend was born. We will go back in the time for you. At Lysen from Pull the Boss, Dirk bought a pigeon from Den 3. This flew on 12 flights, 7 times large pool. Dirk thought that he had brought a hen, but he has turned out to be a cock afterwards. This Super 603 flew fantastic results in the middle long distance races and could quickly get a place in the breeding loft. Dirk put him together with a good hand and that became from the world pros of Belo Ars. Karel Muhlmans In 1946, moved Karel's parents who were farmers in a, in a farm on three to five hectares of land in Arendok, Belgium, where Karel Muhlmann has his life. His first step in the sport at the age of 12, under his impetuous uncle, Jan Balls, he was identically successful with the exception of some nice results were obtained with pigeons by Adrian Wooders. In 1961, Karel finally visited his father, the love of Josh Van, Van den Bosch in Beliard, Belgium, where five pigeons were purchased. These birds would provide the basic for the breeder's mulemen, together with the hand of Adrian Wooders in 1969. That's the formation of the duo wooders mulemen Karel Mulemans of Arendok, the legacy of a fantastic strain that conquered the world, still to be found in the stock loft of Herman and Dennis Bendeman in Enner. Oscar de Viet. He was born in 1889 in the West Flanders area of Belgium. In 1909, he started with pigeons and served as an artillery man in the First World War from 1914 to 1918. The basic pigeons came from the loft of Vandervelt in Odenburg. It was not long before the De Vienne loft became one of the best in Belgium. Many outstanding results were recorded up to the World War II. In 1963, Oscar suffered a stroke and although he never fully recovered, he continued to advise his son in the management of the lofts. In 1966, Oscar died and the official name changed to the Vient Brothers. 
most modern day franchiers pay little attention to the champion of the decade ago. They were more interested in what is winning today, and rightfully so. However, over the last 45 years, I have tried many different middle and long distance families, and as of today, none of them has matched up with the Deviants, especially on the tough and long distance races. Paul Sion The Sion strain of long distance racing pigeons hold a hallowed place in the pantheon of the world's greatest families of the through breeds of the sky. And like much that is a good that is good in Europe came out of the culture of France. Paul Sion, its originator, started in the sport in approximately 1895 and in due course set his mark. In fact, what he produced crossed more additional boundaries throughout the world and became the source of much joy and reward to countless financiers. To quote one eminent authority, A. H. Osman, this man has won more prizes in one season as to many financiers won in a lifetime. Yes, Paul Sion, who was later to be assisted by his son Robert, truly exceeded perhaps his expectation when after becoming a fanchier, he adopted Louis Salimbier as his teacher, the latter being one of the great French distance pigeoneers for over 50 years that had the time. Sion admitted in 1935 that he belonged to the Louis Salimbier school. But there is a wide agreement that when one sees a Sion, one knows what this is a Sion which is but a reflection of a genius as of its founder.